thanks for jumping on and joining me today. I'm so glad that uh, you were able to share this time together. Today we're going to talk all about our words. Did you know that your words have power? It's true. In Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29, I want to look at this verse here for a moment as we start. It says, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths. Wow. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths. Now you probably know some things that you could say to people that would help them and encourage them and lift them up. And you probably know some other things too, some bad words or things that shouldn't be said. Well this is very clear here. Let's not let any unwholesome talk come out of our mouths. Let's try to say things that should be said that will help people and encourage them, not things that are going to tear people down. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs. We want to be people that build others up, that encourage them, that help them, that, put, that we um, keep lifting people higher by using our words. And we do need to speak the truth, but the Bible says we need to do that in love. Now the last part of this verse here says that it may benefit those who listen. So do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Wow, you know what, you can use your words to speak life into people. They do have power. In 1 Thessalonians 5.11, it says, therefore encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. I was thinking about this encouraging one another. You know what the word encourage means? E-N, and then it says courage. Encourage is to put courage in to somebody. And what we wanna do is we wanna lift people up with the words that we speak. We don't wanna let people down. We wanna lift people up, not let people down. We need to lift people up with the words that we speak, not let people down. Our words are tied together as we speak to others. Scripture says speak to one another in love. And so we lift people up, not let them down. Don't knock people down. Don't pull people down. Lift people up. I know sometimes it's hard to figure out how to handle situations. <laughs> And I know sometimes even at home with brothers or sisters or moms or dads or grandmas or grandpas, sometimes it is a little bit of a challenge as we are spending a lot of time to eat with each other. But I want you to know this, that you can lift each other up with your words. Don't let them down. Scripture says, encourage one another, build each other up just as in fact you are doing. Lift people up with the words that you speak. In Proverbs 18, 21, it says, the tongue has the power of life and death. Here I have a picture of a tongue. The tongue holds the power of life and death. And then it says, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Proverbs 18, 21, the tongue has the power of life and death. So know this, that the words that you speak, they can hurt people or they can help people. The tongue holds the power of life and death. So we need to speak words that give life, that help people, not hurt people. Then it says this, and those of you who love it will eat its fruit. Now, there's this game. Have you seen this game before? It's called Bean Boozled. <laughs> have you seen this? It's kind of crazy. They have all these different jelly beans, and they have all these different flavors of jelly beans. Some are really, really good. They're very sweet. Oh, it feels so good when you get to eat these. But then they have other flavors that are nasty. I, I wrote down some of the ones that they have. They have things like, uh, they have one called birthday cake, dirty dishwater, toasted marshmallow, stink bug, Blue, berry blue, toothpaste, buttered popcorn, or rotten egg. There's one called Tutti Fruity, stinky socks, strawberry banana smoothie, dead fish, juicy pear, booger, bean boozle. Some is sweet, some is horrible. We not only put like, like those jelly beans, the 
bean boozled what's into our mouths. What, what kind of things do we allow out of our mouth? Is it sweet or is it sour? Is it helpful or is it hurtful? The tongue has the power of life and death. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Let's use words that are helpful to people and that are sweet. Sometimes, you know, one thing I learned, my dad used to say to me, he'd say, you don't have to say everything you think. And that's really good advice. Just because you think something, stop yourself and ask yourself, is this going to bring life or death? Is it going to help or is it going to hurt? Is it going to be sweet or is it going to be nasty? Let's use our words to encourage one another and build each other up. That's what we need to do. Hey there. You know, there's a scripture verse that I've been thinking about in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 24. It says, gracious words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. That's Proverbs 16, 24. Gracious words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul, healing to the bones. What that means is this, is gracious words are sweet. You know what a gracious word is? Well, do you know what the word grace is? Grace is love and undeserved favor and kindness to somebody, even though they really don't deserve it. So this says this, that we share our loving, kind words to people, even when they don't deserve it. And that is sweet. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I just want to take a moment here and just remind you, use your words to build people up, to encourage others. Speak life into people, not death. All right? Let's take a moment and pray together as we close. Dear God, we just come before you today and we just say thank you, Lord, for speaking life to us. Lord, for providing a way for us to be forgiven from our bad choices, our mistakes, and our sin. And Lord, I pray that you will help us to do better, Lord, to continue to live in such a way that you've called us to live, using our words to build people up, Lord. Lord, I pray that you will help each and every one of us, every moment of the day, to make good choices with our words. Amen.